Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a quick rundown of DB Browser. It's one of the many software that lets you manage uh, SQL databases graphically. Um, it's free to use and it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I'll leave the download instructions in the description. Now, the focus of the video is going to be about how to use this software. So I'll assume you guys know a bit of SQL basics. So stuff like select and insert. So let's get into it. To start off, when you open the program, you'll be greeted with an interface that looks like this. So uh, we can create a new database to start off if we don't have an existing database. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, now it's going to ask you to uh, browse for a location and give it a file name. So I want to save it in this folder using DB Browser. And I'm going to call it customer.db and then I'm gonna hit save so we can close out of this window we're pretty much ready at this stage to write our SQL code now to do this we click on the execute SQL button or tab I should say um, then we can pretty much write our SQL code right here um, I've ahead and I've written um, uh, some SQL code and I've saved it as a customer.sql file over here so I'm just going to open up this file in DB browser now to do that you click on the open SQL file button and then you browse for your SQL file wherever it's stored and then you just click open so you'll see that this is our SQL code to run our SQL code, we push the uh, execute SQL button. So that's going to run all the code from start to finish in our uh, SQL file. So you'll see here that it says not an error, so everything executed uh, successfully. Now, since we made changes to the structure of our database, i.e. we created a customer table and we inserted data, we want to save those changes. Now, DB Browser doesn't do this automatically. So to save those changes, we, up here, we have to click Write Changes. We could also revert changes, okay? Now, revert changes uh, restores b the database back to the last saved state. But of course, I want to save, so I'm going to click Write Changes. Now, every time you make uh, structural changes, like, for example, when you do a insert, update, or delete, um, you want to remember to do the right changes. Otherwise, you'll lose information. To view the code that we have inserted before, we could use a select statement. So let me uncomment this. And then to run a specific SQL statement, you highlight it and then you push the execute SQL button and you'll notice all the output comes um, below here now um, I've since I've made changes to my uh, SQL file I need to uh, remember to save those changes now this is another thing that you need to remember to do so this uh, save is different to uh, saving your DB file both of these are independent from one another now to save your uh, customer.sql file or whatever SQL file you have you click on the save SQL file button now whenever you make changes to the um, code or whenever you add new code to your uh, SQL file you must remember to save next we'll move on to the browse data tab now in the browse data tab you can basically select which tables you want to view um, uh, the information for and you get all the records in the table um, so I only have one table but if you had more they would show up in this menu you can also uh, use um, new record and delete record respectively so you could delete whichever record you wanted so delete see it goes away and then you could also insert a record graphically of course I want to revert those changes yes the last tab is the database uh, structure tab and this uh, tab basically shows you the code that was used to create um, the table so this was the code used to create the customer table you can also push this um, uh, button or arrow I should say and you can view uh, all the attributes in that table 
You can do something similar in this window here as well. So if I expand the customer table, you can view all the attributes in that table. Now the last thing to do is once we're happy with our uh, database and the structure, we can close the um, our database using the file menu and we can click on close database. Of course, uh, once we need to reopen our database again, we can just click open database and then we can browse for our DB file and then we can just click open. So that was a quick rundown of DB Browser and I hope you guys found this video helpful and see you next time.